Okay, well, it is the 1st of September. I just got my new sprayer on the ATV. I'm gonna go up there, spray everything I tilled the other day. Um, and I might actually redisc a couple new spots because I actually want to expand the food a little bit more. Now that I looked at it from above, uh, from the drone, I think we could put some more food in there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And the plot with the blockers, I'm going to actually take some more of that down and add some more uh, food in that spot because I feel like that's gonna be a key plot for the year and to sustain these deer in the later months when it starts getting cold and harsh for them. So I'm gonna go up there, spray, get this done. Season opens in two weeks. I still gotta put some stands up and do a bunch of stuff. So we're almost there, we're getting there. Should be fun, so let's go. So now I gotta drive back there, try to get some stuff done. It is 130 something right now, 145. So, yeah. I hate driving back, back here, honestly. I just hate spooking deer, I really do. Oh, I love that sound. Hey, my camera just sent me a photograph of me driving in. This is what's gonna be different next year is all this is probably gonna be corn. If I can get corn up here, I'm planting corn for sure, guys. See, I cut that all down right there. I gotta spray that and see how thick it is over here. So good bedding over here for the deer. So I decided to make this food. So this is all gonna be food. Yeah, well I'm here, so I guess I'm going to start getting to work. So what I'm doing actually is I'm actually making the pass bigger because I want there to be more food in here. Um, so I'm taking out some more patches of the thick stuff. I am going to leave a lot of it thick because there's still bedding in there. And uh, I know the deer really like that really soft grass over there. But I'm going to take a little bit out pretty much to this tree. I'm gonna actually going to hang a limb off that just in case they want to do uh, like a scrape off of it. Uh, so I'm going to get a branch hanging off that. I'm also possibly going to put in a scrape uh, post over here because I'm gonna have a stand over there for my dad and that's about 30 30 yard shot 25 30 yard shot plus I'm gonna have a stand right there for myself which is about the same distance um, so I've got some ideas running through my head of what I, exactly I want to do but for right now I really want to get some more food in here actually so I think I'm gonna clear this out right here in front of me and I'm just gonna make this a big path and uh, yeah I think it's gonna look pretty good see there's a bedding area right here so these thick grasses they're utilizing it, so I'm not gonna take it all away because I do want those to hang out here in bed and feed. I also might put a water hole in the ground so they don't have to go all the way to the slough to drink. So there's a couple little things I'm trying to improve on here. Uh, pretty much is to sustain these deer uh, in this area and keep them here and have a good food source through the winter time. So I'm gonna get to spraying the rest of this. I'm gonna spray over there and then I'm gonna come up and probably disc a little bit more, possibly just to kind of tear the dirt up a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Don't be like me and forget to put your mask on. Jeez, very important. You don't want to be breathing this stuff then. That's better.
Well, I'm pretty much done uh, spraying. I got this done. I actually just made a new plot. I sprayed it. I'm gonna have to till it in a couple days. And I sprayed the other plot, so everything's done. Um, got this plot right here with the little blockers, which it's gonna probably work pretty well. And I, I made another clearing right here because I really want to test some food plot and see what these deer are like. And so I decided to make another plot right on the other side of this little thicket right here. Um, so they got food over there, food here, food right there, food over there. So once the crops get harvested, I'm hoping that these deer are going to flock here. They're going to feel safe. They're going to have food. They're going to have water. They're going to have shelter um, because I don't touch that other 20 acres over there. So I just pretty much hunt this and I left that all alone as a sanctuary. Um, which I have a plan for that for next year, but so far this is what we got. I say it looks pretty good. Um, so spraying is complete. Now I just got to go get the rest of the stuff done. Figure out where I'm gonna put some cameras. Figure out what I want to till if I want to till, and probably get the chainsaw out and cut some logs. This is where I did that plot right here. I'll show you real quick. I got all the spraying done and I decided I wanted to make another plot. So over there behind me is the main plot um, with the blockers and you see this little tree line right here, all these little brushes, trees. I'm on the other side of that right now and I decided to cut all this out. Well I sprayed it, I still have to disc it, but this is going to be food plot as well. So we're going to have food over there, food right here food right there and food over my little bitty small plot um, and my favorite stand where I shot my wide eight in 2020. Um, this is a lot of food and I'm hoping that it all grows and it's going to sustain the deer through the winter because the problem is these deer always tend to leave late November, um, December and then they vanish because there's no food. So if I can get food here and I can keep them here longer it's going to you know increase my chances of getting a de good deer then that's what I'm doing. This could be a real killer spot, and I'm just trying to make it the best I can. It's a small parcel, 22 acres, uh, high pressure. So I'm trying to stay out of here as much as possible, give them as much cover and food as they can and make them feel comfortable, get in and get out when it's right to hunt. Don't hunt just to hunt, hunt the right time. So we'll see how it happens, how it pays off. But I have to get my chainsaw, cut a couple tree limbs up, move a couple sticks. All right, first order of business, I gotta cut this down. Never mind. Chop this tree down over here. Hopefully that chainsaw stays where it's at. That's just gotta go. No point in any of those trees being there, so we gotta get rid of them. Let's go cut this down. Ran out of fuel, I'll be back. Back. Get the tree out the rest of the way.
got those sticks in a pile, work on that tree you just cut down. And I cut a little stump out and we're good to go. Ah, oh, it feels good to get this work done. More spots to put your own cameras too. Um, so I took that branch down that was behind this tree too. Open it up so much more, you have shoot lanes. Now I gotta chop this tree up. a good piece for me to actually dig a three foot hole dig this into the ground and put a hanging branch over it for a deer to make a scrape under so i kept this a little bit longer because that's what i'm gonna do with this and create a mock scrape and something that a deer can visually see and come out and uh, start raking it start putting a scrape down take his eyes off of me so this is a really good piece so i'm gonna throw this off the side and next time i come up i'm going to bring my auger and make ourselves a scrape tree Your place better right now i'm making it better all right this is what i did so that's it for the day i'm i'm done that's a lot of work took a tree down right here took a fallen tree down right there cleared it out through the brush here opened it up quite a bit i'm probably going to end up coming up here and taking this grass out right here and putting plot there too but uh yeah we're done for now for the day I'll be up here in a day or two to uh, finish up and get ready to get seeds in the ground and then wait for a nice cold front to come in and see if we can get us a shooter. So yeah, I'm ready to go.